So for me, talking about metal or extreme metal and the scene of extreme metal, both locally and internationally, <coughs> is a way to get at. So what happens when people sort of define themselves extremely, and 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 and, and how does that work out? And is that a a bad thing, and, and obviously I don't think it is, because otherwise I wouldn't identify as a member of an extreme scene. Um, so so um, this is for me so another, an, another way to get at a fairly common uh, discussion. So where do we belong to, and if we s choose to belong to an extreme scene, in our case the scene that involves putting heads of sheep on a stick when you perform, I think, you know, shouldn't lectures be like this? Wouldn't that be awesome? Just, you know, the first day of class, you know, people come back from, come from high school, they oh, we go to the university, and their, their professor has just a, a row of bleeding goat's heads in front of them. Like, hello, uh, let's talk about exam guidelines. <laughs> Through this process, uh, a scene was starting to form. It was in its infancy. Um, so as, you know, these bands started giving their music to fans, Venues started asking them to play. And all of a sudden, they had a network of people that they could rely on to come to their shows, to buy their music. And in the process <coughs> of doing that, they also started developing cultural norms, which are very specific to black metal, as you saw in some of the earlier um, you know, clips. You saw corpse paint, the idea that you had to dress yourself up. It was all about transcending mundanity, you know, be, being above your earthly form and doing something different with your life. Uh, you know, founders would demonstrate self-mutilation scars and do all this, you know, kind of crazy stuff. And through this, a scene develops. You have the Norwegian mm -hmm. black metal scene. So what we started doing was we had Mike as a metal fan, me as a metal fan, then some more people that were kind of into thrash metal, 80s metal, black metal, whatever. And these are all really, you're almost on the same ground, similar music, similar interests. And this is something that, for regards to the rest of what I'm talking about, is like horizontal fan integration. Horizontal just because you're all really on the same type of musical interests and compatibility. Um, something that might be considered what I would call vertical would be like, okay, here we have death metal, here we have black metal. They're close enough where they can integrate and you're more likely to get together. What we started doing is making this kind of chart here, which sort of became a central little mini scene or the precursor to what could become a much bigger scene. And what's really important to do as a band or just someone who's trying to get a product or anything really the way that we're looking at it is the horizontal connections.